Hey guys, Dusty here. Welcome back to my channel. So, you want to know which software you should download for which Mindstorms kit you have. You're in the right place. Just so you know, I made this whole presentation showing you about the different kits and the different softwares and which one you should download for each. Um, there's download links in this uh, presentation as, as well as there will be download links in the description below. Um, if you want the quick answer, I recommend getting the newest software you can for the kit that you have, unless you want to be able to download uh, software to both NXT and EV3 at the same time, then you should get the retired EV3 Home Edition. So without further ado, let's get into the details. There's a bunch of different kits. In 2019, they came out with Robot Inventor and Spike Prime Education Set. That's probably what you have. Or the EV3 from 2013 and the EV3 Education. But there's also the NXT 2.0 and then in 2009 and the NXT, uh, the regular one and Education in 2006. So the software... Some of the softwares are compatible with multiple kits and some are not. Um, so we'll go over that right now. The Spike Prime and the Robot Inventor are basically the same brain and you can use either software for either kit. However, the Robot Inventor software allows you to control the robot using the arrow keys and the keys on the keyboard. So if you want that feature, you want to get uh, that software. Okay. So the EV3, there's multiple softwares that you can use and I'll show you where they are on the website because it's kind of hard to find. But there's the Scratch-like interface software, which is the home app. And then there's the EV3 retired home software, um, which has uh, more uh, pictures on it. And this is better for students who can't read because it has pictures. Okay. And then uh, you can also use that same software on the NXT. So if you want a software that works both on EV3 and NXT, get the retired EV3 home software. Okay. But if you have only an NXT and you want to use the original NXT software, that's also available. And there's also a couple phone apps that you could use to remote control your NXT. So I want to show you where these are really quick on the website. Let's see. So if you just click this link, um, it'll bring you to the LEGO website. And this app right here, Robot Commander app, again, it's not for programming, but it's just for like driving your robot around. Okay. Now this one, uh, desktop and tablet apps. This is the EV3 Home app, and this is the main drag-and-drop uh, scratch-like interface, okay? So that's most likely the one you want. Unless you want to get the older EV3 um, Home Edition, the retired one, so that you can control both EV3 and um, NXT with it, okay? So that one's down here, retired EV3. And then the last one is if you want the NXT software, it's on the same website. Keep scrolling down. Okay, here is the NXT software, okay? Um, now, if you choose to get the uh, EV3 retired edition, it is missing a couple blocks, um, and we'll go over that in a second. So let's say this. If you want to download the Spike Prime software, just click here. If you want to download the Robot Inventor software, you can click here. Remember, uh, the Robot Inventor allows you to use the keys on the keyboard to control the robot, okay? And the EV3 app with the scratch-like interface is here. Um, this is not compatible with NXT. So if you want to be able to download NXT programs as well, then you want to get the retired LEGO Mindstorms uh, EV3 Home Edition. Okay. Um, and the special thing here is if you do this, it's going to be missing the uh, ultrasonic block and the gyro sensor and a couple other ones. So what you can do, you can just go to the website. Let me see right here. So let's say you download this software, the retired Mindstorms, and then you're going to go down until you see the EV3 software blocks, okay? So you can download all five of these, the gyro sensor, sound, temperature, ultrasonic, okay? After you download them, then, let me see, just go back to percent. Okay, after you download them, then you're going to want to go to open your software, go to tools, block import, and then browse for your downloads folder and you should be able to find these. So click on one at a time, gyro sensor, import. Okay, ultrasonic sensor, import. And do that for all five of them. Now, if you check the tab at the bottom of your screen in the software, okay, it looks like this, bottom of your screen, click on the yellow tab and you'll see that uh, when you first open the software, it's missing these five blocks. But if you take these steps, download and import them, and then you have to close the software and reopen it. Then you should be able to go to this yellow tab and see the new blocks are in here. Okay. If you don't need to use the ultrasonic or gyro sensor, you can just skip this step. Okay. And the last thing is the Lego Mindstorms original software for NXT. Um, this is better if you have an NXT kit 
because the EV3 software, although you can use it for NXT, um, the light sensor and color sensor don't work as well on here if you're using the uh, NXT light sensor and color sensor. So um, if you do, if you just have an NXT kit, I still recommend getting the original NXT software. Okay, and the last thing I want to share with you is nxtprograms.com. This is an excellent resource, okay? So they have a ton of tutorials on here depending on what kit you have. And it uses only the pieces in that kit. So if I click on this, let's say you have the NXT 2.0 kit, and then you can click on any project, let's say the Guitar Challenge. Um, and then they have instructions in here, building instructions. So you can go down, build the whole thing. Uh, okay, it's kind of long, but anyways... You can build the whole thing, and then they have they should have programming instructions on here as well. And I recommend going through a, whatever kit you have, just go to this website and build as many of the projects as you can. Again, let's say you have the in Robot Inventor set. You can just go in here and choose any of these cool projects to build, like this cool Mars rover or this balancing board robot. Okay, So I highly recommend just going to this website and build all the challenges on here. That will give you a lot of practice. Um, Okay, so if you want more um, tutorials showing how to download each of these softwares and how to start using them, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.